Chapters 26 through 30 of the Book of Genesis from the Young's Literal Translation of the Bible. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more info, and how to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Mark Penfold. Chapters 26 through 30 of Genesis from the Young's Literal Translation. Chapter 26 And there is a famine in the land, besides the first famine which was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac goeth unto Abimelech king of the Philistines to Gerar. And Jehovah appeareth unto him, and saith, Go not down towards Egypt, tabernacle in the land concerning which I speak unto thee. Sojourn in this land, and I am with thee, and bless thee. For to thee and to thy seed I give all these lands. And I have established the oath which I have sworn to Abraham thy father. And I have multiplied thy seed as stars of the heavens, and I have given to thy seed all these lands, and blessed themselves in thy seed have all nations of the earth, because that Abraham hath hearkened to my voice, and keepeth my charge, my commands, my statutes, and my laws. And Isaac dwelleth in Gerar. And men of the place ask him of his wife, and he saith, She is my sister. For he hath been afraid to say, My wife, lest the men of the place kill me for Rebekah, for she is of good appearance. And it cometh to pass, when the days have been prolonged to him there, that Abimelech king of the Philistines looketh through the window, and seeth, and lo, Isaac is playing with Rebekah his wife. And Abimelech calleth for Isaac, and saith, Lo, she is surely thy wife! And how hast thou said, She is my sister? And Isaac saith unto him, Because I said, Lest I die for her. And Abimelech saith, What is this thou hast done to us? As a little thing one of the people had lain with thy wife, and thou hast brought upon us guilt. And Abimelech commandeth all the people, saying, He who cometh against this man or against his wife, dying doth die. And Isaac soweth in that land, and findeth in that year a hundredfold, and Jehovah blesseth him. And the man is great, and goeth on, going on and becoming great, till that he hath been very great. And he hath possession of a flock, and possession of a herd, and an abundant service, and the Philistines envy him. And all the wells which his father's servants digged in the days of Abraham his father, the Philistines have stopped them, and fill them with dust. And Abimelech saith unto Isaac, Go from us, for thou hast become much mightier than we. And Isaac goeth from thence, and encampeth in the valley of Gerar, and dwelleth there. And Isaac turneth back, and diggeth the wells of water which they digged in the days of Abraham his father, which the Philistines do stop after the death of Abraham. And he calleth to them names according to the names which his father called them. And Isaac's servants dig in the valley, and find there a well of living water. And shepherds of Gerar strive with shepherds of Isaac, saying, The water is ours! And he calleth the name of the well, Strife, because they have striven habitually with him. And they dig another well, and they strive also for it, and he calleth its name, Hatred. And he removeth from thence, and diggeth another well, and they have not striven for it. And he calleth its name, Enlargements, and saith, For now hath Jehovah given enlargement to us, and we have been fruitful in the land. And he goeth up from thence to Beersheba. And Jehovah appeareth unto him during that night, and saith, I am the God of Abraham thy father. Fear not, for I am with thee, and have blessed thee, and have multiplied thy seed because of Abraham my servant. And he buildeth there an altar, and preacheth in the name of Jehovah, and stretcheth out there his tent, and there Isaac's servants dig a well. And Abimelech hath gone unto him from Gerar, and Ahuzath his friend, and Phicol head of his host. And Isaac saith unto them, Wherefore have ye come unto me, and ye have hated me, and ye send me away from you? And they say, We have certainly seen that Jehovah hath been with thee, and we say, Let there be, we pray thee, an oath between us, between us and thee, and let us make a covenant with thee. Do not evil with us, as we have not touched thee and as we have only done good with thee, and send thee away in peace. Thou art now blessed of Jehovah. And he maketh for them a banquet, and they eat and drink, 
and rise early in the morning, and swear one to another, and Isaac sendeth them away, and they go from him in peace. And it cometh to pass during that day, that Isaac's servants come and declare to him concerning the circumstances of the well which they have digged, and say to him, We have found water. And he calleth it Sheba, Oath. Therefore the name of the city is Beersheba, Well of the Oath, unto this day. And Esau is a son of forty years, and he taketh a wife, Judith, daughter of Beeri the Hittite, and Bashamath, daughter of Elon the Hittite. And they are a bitterness of spirit to Isaac and to Rebekah. Chapter 27 And it cometh to pass that Isaac is aged, and his eyes are too dim for seeing. And he calleth Esau his elder son, and saith unto him, My son! And he saith unto him, Here am I. And he saith, Lo, I pray thee, I have become aged. I have not known the day of my death. And now take up, I pray thee, thy instruments, thy quiver and thy bow, and go out to the field, and hunt for me provision, and make for me tasteful things, such as I have loved, and bring into me, and I do eat so that my soul doth bless thee before I die. And Rebekah is hearkening while Isaac is speaking unto Esau his son. And Esau goeth to the field to hunt provision, to bring in. And Rebekah hath spoken unto Jacob her son, saying, Lo, I have heard thy father speaking unto Esau thy brother, saying, Bring for me provision, and make for me tasteful things, and I do eat, and bless thee before Jehovah before my death. And now, my son, hearken to my voice, to that which I am commanding thee. Go, I pray thee, unto the flock, and take for me from thence two good kids of the goats, and I make them tasteful things for thy father, such as he hath loved. And thou hast taken in to thy father, and he hath eaten, so that his soul doth bless thee before his death. And Jacob saith unto Rebekah his mother, Lo, Esau my brother is a hairy man, and I a smooth man. It may be my father doth feel me, and I have been in his eyes as a deceiver, and have brought upon me disesteem and not a blessing. And his mother saith to him, On me thy disesteem, my son, only hearken to my voice, and go, take for me. And he goeth, and taketh, and bringeth to his mother, and his mother maketh tasteful things such as his father hath loved. And Rebekah taketh the desirable garments of Esau her elder son, which are with her in the house, and doth put on Jacob her younger son, and the skins of the kids of the goats she hath put on his hands, and on the smooth of his neck, and she giveth the tasteful things, and the bread which she hath made, into the hand of Jacob her son. And he cometh in unto his father, and saith, My father, and he saith, Here am I, who art thou, my son? And Jacob saith unto his father, I am Esau thy firstborn. I have done as thou hast spoken unto me. Rise, I pray thee, sit, and eat of my provision, so that thy soul doth bless me. And Isaac saith unto his son, What is this thou hast hasted to find, my son? And he saith, That which Jehovah thy God hath caused to come before me. And Isaac saith unto Jacob, Come nigh, I pray thee. And I fill thee, my son, whether thou art he, my son Esau, or not. And Jacob cometh nigh unto Isaac his father, and he filleth him, and saith, The voice is the voice of Jacob, and the hands, hands of Esau. And he hath not discerned him, for his hands have been hairy, as the hands of Esau his brother. And he blesseth him, and saith, Thou art he, my son Esau? And he saith, I am. And he saith, Bring I to me, and I do eat of my son's provision, so that my soul doth bless thee. And he bringeth nigh to him, and he eateth, and he bringeth to him wine, and he drinketh. And Isaac his father saith unto him, Come nigh, I pray thee, and kiss me, my son. And he cometh nigh, and kisseth him, and he smelleth the fragrance of his garments, and blesseth him, and saith, See, the fragrance of my son is as the fragrance of a field which Jehovah hath blessed. And God doth give to thee of the dew of heaven, and of the fatness of the earth, and abundance of corn and wine. 
people serve thee, and nations bow themselves to thee. Be thou mighty over thy brethren, and the sons of thy mother bow themselves to thee. Those who curse thee are cursed, and those who bless thee are blessed. And it cometh to pass, as Isaac hath finished blessing Jacob, and Jacob is only just going up from the presence of Isaac his father, that Esau his brother hath come in from his hunting, and he also maketh tasteful things, and bringeth to his father, and saith to his father, Let my father arise and eat of his son's provision, so that thy soul doth bless me. And Isaac his father saith to him, Who art thou? And he saith, I am thy son, thy firstborn Esau. And Isaac trembleth a very great trembling, and saith, Who now is he who hath provided provision, and bringeth in to me, and I eat of all before thou comest in, and I bless him? Yea, blessed is he. When Esau heareth the words of his father, then he crieth a very great and bitter cry, and saith to his father, Bless me, me also, O my father. And he saith, Thy brother hath come in with subtlety, and taketh thy blessing. And he saith, Is it because one called his name Jacob that he doth take me by the heel these two times? My birthright he hath taken, and lo, now he hath taken my blessing. He saith also, Hast thou not kept back a blessing for me? And Isaac answereth and saith to Esau, Lo, a mighty one have I set him over thee, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants, and with corn and wine have I sustained him, and for thee now what shall I do, my son? And Esau saith unto his father, One blessing hast thou, my father? Bless me, me also, O my father. And Esau lifteth up his voice, and weepeth. And Isaac his father answereth, and saith unto him, Lo, of the fatness of the earth is thy dwelling, and of the dew of the heavens from above, and by thy sword dost thou live, and thy brother dost thou serve. And it hath come to pass, when thou rulest, that thou hast broken his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hateth Jacob, because of the blessing with which his father blessed him. And Esau saith in his heart, The days of mourning for my father draw near, and I slay Jacob my brother. And the words of Esau her elder son are declared to Rebekah, and she sendeth and calleth for Jacob her younger son, and saith unto him, Lo, Esau thy brother is comforting himself in regard to thee, to slay thee. And now, my son, hearken to my voice and rise, flee for thyself unto Laban my brother, to Haran, and thou hast dwelt with him some days, till thy brother's fury turn back till thy brother's anger turn back from thee, and he hath forgotten that which thou hast done to him, and I have sent and taken thee from thence. Why am I bereaved even of you both the same day? And Rebekah saith unto Isaac, I have been disgusted with my life because of the presence of the daughters of Heth. If Jacob take a wife of the daughters of Heth, like these, from the daughters of the land, why do I live? Chapter 28 And Isaac calleth unto Jacob, and blesseth him, and commandeth him, and saith to him, Thou dost not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan. Rise, go to Padan Aram, to the house of Bethuel thy mother's father, and take for thyself from thence a wife of the daughters of Laban thy mother's brother. And God Almighty doth bless thee, and make thee fruitful, and multiply thee and thou hast become an assembly of peoples. And he doth give to thee the blessing of Abraham, to thee and to thy seed with thee, to cause thee to possess the land of thy sojournings, which God gave to Abraham. And Isaac sendeth away Jacob, and he goeth to Padan Aram unto Laban, son of Bethuel the Aramean, brother of Rebekah, mother of Jacob and Esau. And Esau seeth that Isaac hath blessed Jacob, and hath sent him to Padan Aram, to take to himself from thence a wife, in his blessing him, that he layeth a charge upon him, saying, Thou dost not take a wife from the daughters of Canaan, that Jacob hearkeneth unto his father and unto his mother, and goeth to Padan Aram. 
and esau seeth that the daughters of canaan are evil in the eyes of isaac his father and esau goeth unto ishmael and taketh mahalath daughter of ishmael abraham's son sister of nebajoth unto his wives to himself for a wife and jacob goeth out from beersheba and goeth toward haran and he toucheth at a certain place and lodgeth there for the sun hath gone in and he taketh of the stones of the place and maketh them his pillows and lieth down in that place and he dreameth and lo a ladder set up on the earth and its head is touching the heavens and lo messengers of god are going up and coming down by it and lo jehovah is standing upon it and he saith i am jehovah god of abraham thy father and god of isaac the land on which thou art lying to thee i give it and to thy seed and thy seed hath been as the dust of the land and thou hast broken forth westward and eastward and northward and southward and all families of the ground have been blessed in thee and in thy seed and lo i am with thee and have kept thee whithersoever thou goest and have caused thee to turn back unto this ground for i leave thee not till that i have surely done that which i have spoken to thee and jacob awaketh out of his sleep and saith surely jehovah is in this place and i knew not and he feareth and saith how fearful is this place this is nothing but a house of god and this a gate of the heavens and jacob riseth early in the morning and taketh the stone which he hath made his pillows and maketh it a standing pillar and poureth oil upon its top and he calleth the name of that place bethel house of god and yet luz is the name of the city at the first and jacob voweth a vow saying seeing god is with me and hath kept me in this way which i am going and hath given to me bread to eat and a garment to put on when i have turned back in peace unto the house of my father and jehovah hath become my god then this stone which i have made a standing pillar is a house of god and all that thou dost give to me tithing i tithe to thee chapter twenty nine and jacob lifteth up his feet and goeth towards the land of the sons of the east and he looketh and lo a well in the field and lo there three droves of a flock crouching by it for from that well they water the droves and the great stone is on the mouth of the well when thither have all the drones been gathered and they have rolled the stone from off the mouth of the well and have watered the flock then they have turned back the stone on the mouth of the well to its place and jacob saith to them my brethren from whence are ye and they say we are from haran and he saith to them have you known laban son of nahor and they say we have known and he saith to them hath he peace and they say peace and lo rachel his daughter is coming with the flock and he saith lo the day is still great it is not time for the cattle to be gathered water ye the flock and go delight yourselves and they say we are not able till that all the droves be gathered together and they have rolled away the stone from the mouth of the well and we have watered the flock he is yet speaking with them and rachel hath come with the flock which her father hath for she is shepherdess and it cometh to pass when jacob hath seen rachel daughter of laban his mother's brother and the flock of laban his mother's brother that jacob cometh nigh and rolleth the stone from off the mouth of the well and watereth the flock of laban his mother's brother and jacob kisseth rachel and lifteth up his voice and weepeth and jacob declareth to rachel that he is her father's brother and that he is rebekah's son and she runneth and declareth to her father and it cometh to pass when laban heareth the report of jacob his sister's son that he runneth to meet him and embraceth him and kisseth him and bringeth him in unto his house and he recounteth to laban all these things and laban saith to him only my bone and my flesh art thou and he dwelleth with him a month of days and laban saith to jacob is it because thou art my brother that thou hast served me for naught declare to me what is thy hire and laban hath two daughters the name of the elder is leah and the name of the younger rachel and the eyes of leah are tender and rachel hath been fair of form and fair of appearance 
And Jacob loveth Rachel, and saith, I serve thee seven years for Rachel thy younger daughter. And Laban saith, It is better for me to give her to thee than to give her to another man. Dwell with me. And Jacob serveth for Rachel seven years, and they are in his eyes as some days because of his loving her. And Jacob saith unto Laban, Give up my wife, for my days have been fulfilled, and I go in unto her. And Laban gathereth all the men of the place, and maketh a banquet. And it cometh to pass in the evening, that he taketh Leah his daughter, and bringeth her in unto him, and he goeth in unto her. And Laban giveth to her Zilpah his maidservant, to Leah his daughter a maidservant. And it cometh to pass in the morning, that, lo, it is Leah. And he saith unto Laban, What is this thou hast done to me? For Rachel have I not served with thee? And why hast thou deceived me? And Laban saith, It is not done so on our place to give the younger before the firstborn. Fulfill the week of this one, and we give to thee also this one, for the service which thou dost serve with me yet seven other years. And Jacob doth so, and fulfilleth the week of this one. And he giveth to him Rachel his daughter, to him for a wife. And Laban giveth to Rachel his daughter Bilhah his maidservant, for a maidservant to her. And he goeth in also unto Rachel, and he also loveth Rachel more than Leah, and he serveth with him yet seven other years. And Jehovah seeth that Leah is the hated one, and he openeth her womb, and Rachel is barren. And Leah conceiveth and beareth a son, and calleth his name Reuben. For she said, Because Jehovah hath looked on mine affliction, because now doth my husband love me. And she conceiveth again, and beareth a son, and saith, because Jehovah hath heard that I am the hated one, he also giveth to me even this one. And she calleth his name Simeon. And she conceiveth again, and beareth a son, and saith, Now is the time my husband is joined unto me, because I have borne to him three sons. Therefore hath one called his name Levi. And she conceiveth again, and beareth a son, and saith this time, I praise Jehovah. Therefore hath she called his name Judah, and she ceaseth from bearing. Chapter 30 And Rachel seeth that she hath not borne to Jacob, and Rachel is envious of her sister, and saith unto Jacob, Give me sons, and if there is none, I die. And Jacob's anger burneth against Rachel, and he saith, Am I instead of God who hath withheld from thee the fruit of the womb? And she saith, Lo, my handmaid Bilhah, go in unto her, and she doth bear on my knees, and I am built up, even I from her. And she giveth to him Bilhah, her maidservant, for a wife, and Jacob goeth in unto her, and Bilhah conceiveth, and beareth to Jacob a son. And Rachel saith, God hath decided for me, and also hath hearkened to my voice, and giveth to me a son. Therefore hath she called his name Dan. And Bilhah, Rachel's maidservant, conceiveth again, and beareth a second son to Jacob. And Rachel saith, With wrestlings of God I have wrestled with my sister, yea, I have prevailed. And she calleth his name Naphtali. And Leah seeth that she hath ceased from bearing, and she taketh Zilpah her maidservant, and giveth her to Jacob for a wife. And Zilpah, Leah's maidservant, beareth to Jacob a son. And Leah saith, A troop is coming and she calleth his name Gad. And Zilpah, Leah's maidservant, beareth a second son to Jacob. And Leah saith, Because of my happiness, for daughters have pronounced me happy. And she calleth his name Asher. And Reuben goeth in the days of wheat harvest, and findeth love apples in the field, and bringeth them in unto Leah his mother. And Rachel saith unto Leah, Give to me, I pray thee, of the love apples of thy son. And she saith to her, Is thy taking my husband a little thing, that thou hast taken also the love apples of my son? And Rachel saith, Therefore doth he lie with thee to night for thy son's love apples. And Jacob cometh in from the field at evening, and Leah goeth to meet him, and saith, Unto me dost thou come in, for hiring I have hired thee with my son's love apples. And he lieth with her during that night. And God hearkeneth unto Leah, and she conceiveth, and beareth to Jacob a son, a fifth. 
And Leah saith, God hath given my hire, because I have given my maidservant to my husband. And she calleth his name Issachar. And conceive again doth Leah, and she beareth a sixth son to Jacob. And Leah saith, God hath endowed me a good dowry. This time doth my husband dwell with me, for I have borne to him six sons. And she calleth his name Zebulun. And afterwards hath she borne a daughter, and calleth her name Dinah. And God remembereth Rachel, and God hearkeneth unto her, and openeth her womb. And she conceiveth, and beareth a son, and saith, God hath gathered up my reproach. And she calleth his name Joseph, saying, Jehovah is adding to me another son. And it cometh to pass, when Rachel hath borne Joseph, that Jacob saith unto Laban, Send me away, and I go unto my place and to my land. Give up my wives and my children, for whom I have served thee, and I go. Thou hast known my service, which I have served thee. And Laban saith unto him, If I pray thee I have found grace in thine eyes, I have observed diligently that Jehovah doth bless me for thy sake. He saith also, Define thy hire to me, and I give. And he saith unto him, Thou, thou hast known that which I have served thee in, and that which thy substance was with me. For it is little which thou hast had at my appearance, and it breaketh forth into a multitude, and Jehovah blesseth thee at my coming, and now, when do I make, I also for mine own house? And he saith, What do I give to thee? And Jacob saith, Thou dost not give me anything. If thou do for me this thing, I turn back. I have delight. Thy flock I watch. I pass through all thy flock today to turn aside from thence every sheep speckled and spotted, and every brown sheep among the lambs, and speckled and spotted among the goats, and it hath been my hire. And my righteousness hath answered for me in the day to come, when it cometh in for my hire before thy face. Every one which is not speckled and spotted among my goats, and brown among my lambs, it is stolen with me. And Laban saith, Lo, oh, that it were according to thy word! And he turneth aside during that day the ring-straked and the spotted he-goats, and all the speckled and the spotted she-goats, every one that hath white in it, and every brown one among the lambs, and he giveth into the hands of his sons, and setteth a journey of three days between himself and Jacob, and Jacob is feeding the rest of the flock of Laban. And Jacob taketh to himself a rod of fresh poplar, and of the hazel and chestnut, and doth peel in them white peelings, making bare the white that is on the rods, and setteth up the rods which he hath peeled in the gutters in the watering troughs, when the flock cometh in to drink, over against the flock, that they may conceive in their coming in to drink. And the flocks conceive at the rods, and the flock beareth ring-straked, speckled, and spotted ones. And the lambs hath Jacob parted, and he putteth the face of the flock towards the ring-straked, also all the brown in the flock of Laban, and he setteth his own droves by themselves, and hath not set them near Laban's flock. And it hath come to pass, whenever the strong ones of the flock conceive, that Jacob set the rods before the eyes of the flock in the gutters, to cause them to conceive by the rods. And when the flock is feeble, he doth not set them. And the feeble ones have been Laban's, and the strong ones Jacob's. And the man increaseth very exceedingly, and hath many flocks, and maidservants, and menservants, and camels, and asses. The End of Chapters 26-30 through 30 of the Book of Genesis from the Young's Literal Translation of the Bible Recording by Mark Penfold